Welcome back to another episode. Grandpa Blue Head Gasket. This is starting to look like a Muppet show. Kenny the Bearing, Grandpa Blue Head Gasket. What's next? So this was a metal reinforced uh, gasket that in theory was suitable for head gaskets, but as you can see, metal part is okay, but the coating of the gasket just burnt up. So I'm going to try and make a new gasket from copper. So I've ordered this 0.1 millimeter thick copper sheet and I'm going to try and mill a new head gasket. I'm going to mill two of them so I can stack them. I've been told you have to heat treat the copper just so it functions as a gasket and not just as a copper sheet because in theory after heat treating the copper becomes soft. So we got the copper sheet mounted, we got the mill zeroed out and ready to go. So let's fire this thing up. Well, it wasn't as clean as I hoped, but we have some result. I forgot to add tabs to the uh, geometry so that it would keep the middle piece of wood in place to keep this copper also in place. But we do have something we can work with. I'm just going to clean up these edges. The inside part is perfect, so it shouldn't be a big issue. Now, all we have left to do is to try and heat treat these uh, copper sheets and then we can mount them and test them. So how are we going to heat treat these? Um, just heat them up until they are glowing red and then just dunk them into a bucket of water. These are really thin so do I don't think it will take much. Oh, don't burn my bucket. So that should be it. So how do you know this works? I'm actually not sure, but I think when the metal bends and just stays in place, I think this is the result you want. Uh, the original copper sheet had some springiness to it, so it would just bend back to its original shape. We no longer have that, so I think this is a success. So let's clean these off a bit and put them on the bike. Grandpa back together. Let's see if he will start.
No, he's leaking. Leaking on the front here. No. Maybe just two gaskets is not enough. So I'm going to try and make another one. So I made some extras. And this time I did add my tabs, my holding tabs. So now we have a clean cut. However, I think two might have been enough because uh, when I wanted to loosen the head, I found out this nut was actually tight onto the stud and not onto the head. So I will have to add a washer, but I think it will be time just to grab new hardware because some of these spring washers actually just broke. And these nuts are all worn. Yes, it'll pop off and won't look pretty, I think. An old cylinder with new hardware, but I have no other choice. So I'm going to reinstall this stud with some blue Loctite, just to keep it in place for now. I am going to add one extra gasket, just for good measure. And uh, hopefully we have a sealed head then. So let's heat treat this one as well and put it on the bike. So it's back together. I did have to reuse the old hardware because apparently this is not M6 nor is it M8. Maybe M7, I don't know. These are some 10 millimeter nuts but the thread is not uh, M6. Strangely enough. Uh, but it's back together. I also drilled out some M6 washers to use as extra spacers so the thread or the nut is actually pulling on the head and on the stud so hopefully everything is sealed up now let's see if she'll fire up So it seems to have worked, hopefully it holds up in the long term, I will definitely keep you guys posted. So that's one way to make your own head gasket if you have some odd kind of cylinder like this one, which doesn't have any aftermarket parts. That'll be it for this episode, the bike still runs god awful, <laughs> but I guess that's what you get with a 70 or 80 year old bike, but nonetheless it's still a pretty awesome bike. So that'll be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. So definitely stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.